It's lunchtime for St. Helena's oldest celebrity. Jonathan the tortoise has become a bit of an institution on the remote Atlantic Ocean island. Originally from the Seychelles, no one knows exactly how he arrived here. But the island's been his home for over a century, making him possibly the world's oldest terrestrial animal. We think he's between 185 and 186 years old, but that's almost a minimum he could be older because we based that age on when he arrived on St. Helena. So he might have arrived as an old adult or a young adult. So it could be uh, another 100 years, we don't know. The island's only vet is in charge of the ageing patient's health. Jonathan is on a strict diet of fruit and vegetables, most of which is imported by boat. But he has to be carefully hand-fed. He's now virtually blind from cataracts and has lost his sense of smell, although he has managed to hang on to his hearing. There's some debate as to the exact species that Jonathan is. He might be one of only a handful of Seychelles tortoises from a particular variety. Um, but we're not definitely sure. We're doing some genetic testing at the moment to do genomic mapping. So hopefully we might have the answer soon. Despite his old age, Jonathan still makes time for the lady tortoises and is often heard frolicking with his female neighbours, especially by the island's governor since he lives on the grounds of her official residence. I have heard him quite regularly in the paddock enjoying Emily. I have to keep an eye on him when he's doing that though because often tortoises can fall off and be on their back. So I have to make sure that it's all done safely. That wasn't in the job description when I became governor. The community is keeping a close eye on the old boy's health. Plans are underway for the day Jonathan eventually bows out. His obituary has already been written and his tortoise shell will be conserved and displayed on the island.